how long will it take for us to develop new therapies to treat kidney failure, whether from diabetes or from high blood pressure or from genetic disorders like polycystic kidney disease or other uh, uh, congenital disorders? Well, the answer is that it will probably take on the order of 10 years, possibly more, but we are making uh, very substantial progress. We now understand the important cell types that are involved in both normal kidney functioning, but importantly in kidney damage during diabetes. We're understanding the molecular circuitry underlying the response of these cells to disease processes like diabetes. And this allows us to, in a very informed way, identify signaling pathways and genes that we can target therapeutically to slow the disease process down. In fact, when we really think about the problem, we don't necessarily need to find a cure to kidney disease. In fact, what we need to do is simply slow progression down long enough that kidney failure doesn't occur in a patient's normal lifespan. And this is actually a very attainable goal within the next 10 to 15 years with adequate research funding, whether from the government or from foundations or from private philanthropic support.